to the Make Earth Great Again campaign. Well, we, as Broshep, are going to freaking kill the Reapers, take their stuff, and uh, make the make the, the the galaxy safe for Earth. At the expense of most other people. We need to go find Anthrice. Hello? Is anyone there? I'm coming down. No, stay where you are. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance Navy. It's too deep. We'll come to you. Copy that. We're on our way. Sure, where I'm supposed to go. Where the hell is shooting me? You know what's shooting me. shooting me and I don't know what it is. Looks like a bridge over there. Controls are broken. Someone try to fix it. Hi, Commander. Looks like the wires are fried, Commander. I'll see if I can fix it. If the wires are fried, then how can you fix it? Of 
person stuck. way am I going? Oh, over there, elevator. Thank you. 
Elevators online. We're coming up. Please hurry. I think Hopkins is dead. He tried to run. I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Where did everyone go? Like our lights? Right, I need five minutes, guys.
some of my mead. Skull! That's good. That's pretty good. It's got a nice aroma. Mm. Tastes really good. I'm sorry, they didn't make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh god. Yes, of course. was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Shepard, look. Hmm, a reaper. I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper, but acting alone. Not like any Reaper we've seen before. Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people. Their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Not strange at all. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! What are they doing? They've activated this. I've never managed anything. Doctor? They've learned too well. The darkness must not be breached. Shepard! Take it out! Got it. You okay? Cortez, we have Ann Bryson. Need a pickup. On my way, Commander. Copy that. You see the shuttle, you run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes. Oh, living a, living the dream. Got my mead. Just had my first taste test of it for the season, and it's pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Skull. It's very good. Very smooth. You okay? Yeah, Commander. I I think so. I blacked out. Leviathan took control of it. We got the connection before you got hurt. Leviathan itself? That's incredible. The Reapers seem as interested in it as we are. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But first... Doctor, I have some bad news. Anne, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers. Never went back to dark space, like a rogue, mm. or even a defector. Yeah, maybe. 
I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Hey, you need to listen to me, okay? Your father is dead. I'm sorry. He's... What? Dead? He can't be dead. We met with him, hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine, the next... He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. And? I... I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation. Meet you there. Why can't I just take her? Commander. <laughs> Let's go see what Adam wants. Kenneth, do you ever think about when we were abducted by... No, I don't. Me neither. Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Cool. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Cool, I dinged. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Why is Admiral Admiral talking to me? popular for a while. They were fighting the collectors while the council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Shepard, I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use, organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I'm glad it's having an effect, but so far hope hasn't been the thing winning this war. <laughs> it's been blood, sweat, and more blood. But a lot of these resistance fighters were just farmers and teachers a few weeks ago. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, mm. that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. That's good. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. It's good meat. Faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? Yeah, I know, huh? London. 
Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. Not tomorrow, we get to play. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't <laughs> get into trouble. Commander? I haven't even leveled up. I need to do that probably later. Level 7 really doesn't do a whole lot. the Citadel DLC here in a minute. I found something. Let me survey the systems and uh, I'll go to the Citadel and I'll do the Citadel, the Citadel DLC. It's going to be fun. Citadel DLC is probably one of my favorite ones. The Leviathan's a close second. I was really sad they didn't really put too much Mass Effect Andromeda DLC out. You know, I guess that people didn't like that game too much, so they just kind of swept that under the rug as fast as they could. They're just like, yeah, nobody likes this game. So, let's just not worry about it. The thing about it is, is Mass Effect Andromeda is misunderstood. Okay? It's Mass Effect really only in name. As in, like, just it's, uh, you know, it's a Mass Effect game. Because as it talks about Mass Effect. But if you, if you go ahead and ignore any of the Mass Effect expectations and just think about it as his own individual game. It's actually a pretty good game. It's not a Mass Effect game like Mass Effect 1, 2, 3. But it's still, it's still a, a good, solid game. I found something. It gets a little bit of hate. Yeah, I know. I, I get it. You know, it, it wasn't Mass Effect 4. You know, it was like... You know, if, if they would have called it anything else other than Mass Effect, <laughs> it would have been fine. But the, but the hype around it was just too much. It's like, oh my God, it's gonna be it's gonna be a new Mass Effect game, and it's not. It's not really a Mass Effect game. If they make it a se make a second Mass Effect Andromeda game. We'll see, because like, you only, only had one little sector to, to map in that in that game. The game was very, was very small in its scope.
have Mass Effect freaking relays in the game. So, you know, I can understand why people were a little upset. You know, it's it doesn't have really anything Mass Effect about it, except making Mass Effect drives for FTL. That's it. No relays because they're traveling to the Andromeda Galaxy 600 years, so. Well, I, may be, I will be playing Andromeda after I finish this one. So instead of making Earth great again, we're going to make, uh, make Andromeda great again. You know, it's a legit good game. It's got some quirkiness, but it's not—it's not a bad game at all. It's just not Mass Effect One, Two, or Three. Its only sin is it's not Mass Effect One, Two, or Three. And even that, people don't even like Mass Effect 1 that much. People really think that Mass Effect 2 is like the sweet spot for the series. And that's true. Mass Effect 2 is a very solid game. Come out on top, you kill the collectors, you're like, yeah, come and take it, and, you know, freaking Reapers. You know, and then three is just like, you're getting your ass kicked, and then you get the end. I found something. You know, you get to the end, and you can make one of three choices. So all the choices that you made throughout the entire game are meaningless. It comes down to three different colors. And it, it kind of rubbed a lot of people a lot of people the wrong way. But, like any game, it is what you make of it. That's what I'm doing. I'm making Earth great again. So we're just going to make all the choices to make Earth great again. So when it comes time at the end, spoiler alert, spoiler alert we're going to control the Reapers. Signal confirmed. Because I've never actually done that ending. The control one. I've always done this either the destroy or the synthesis one. Start the Citadel DLC. <laughs> Commander, I've got Admiral Anderson on the QEC. Patching him through to you now. Shepard. Admiral, are we holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. It's too generous. Besides, you'll be back here once the war's over. I doubt it. Even assuming we survive this, it'll take years to rebuild things here. Please, Commander. Don't make me beg. All right. Oh, Consider this stuff's got some 
got some heat behind it. This mead, man. It wasn't smooth going down. You know, but I'm definitely sure starting to feel manage. it already. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. It's really smooth. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, I, I might really might have uh, overdone myself this time with this batch. It's, it's very good. You never asked me about this, but my wife just called. The Normandy? A brand new ship. Embarrassing moment? You have received a new message. Yeah, sure, sweetheart. Oh, here we go. DLC. Mm. I don't know, man. I might have two cups of, of, of it tonight. Skull! Commander Shepard, your Commander Shepard. So, is this authentic French sushi? Oh, of course. French sushi. <laughs> authentic okay, French sushi. Hey, Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious. Like. French guy at the door, serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You see the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Ah, oh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers or poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. The best thing we can do right now is park her and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Right. Trust me, it'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty <laughs> aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. It's not easy to hand the ship over to somebody else. I just don't want anybody touching her but me. That... That sounded a little weird. Hmm. Not from you. Ouch. So, Commander, your email said it was important. What's up? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me. Sorry. Nine's business. Commander, this is urgent! Oh, come on, we haven't even gotten the appetizers yet. Commander Shepard, I'm Staff Analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me, Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to this. kill you. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I think he's aware of that. <laughs> no, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people, new people. They're, it's, <sighs> someone is hacking your account. Comm channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Targeting me? What do they want? 
The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant, which is bad. Hang on, Brooks. Take a breath. <sighs> From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Stay there. I'm coming. Joker? Ow, my pancreas. Oh, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it. Got one, sir! Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Tool bread. Omni tool weapon. Did you see that? Savior of the Citadel uses brittle bones guy as bait. We got a body. Bro. Hang on. Feeling good. Yeah. Brooks, you got hit. I know! I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. I know everything is a little bit bouncy. I think you used too much. So, can I help with... anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no laundry. Ah, oh, it's a sky car lot. Cision Motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. Morning, lockdown in effect. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, bros. Oh, also, stay off your calm. Except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. 
Yeah, I'm sensing that. Fine. Might need a little backup. Thank the goddess. Joker explained what happened. I'm on foot, but should reach you soon. Excuse me, who is this? You're on an unsecured channel, and you're putting Commander Shepard in danger. In danger? Who is this? Hang on. Joker mentioned staff analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice. to hear. Things are a little dicey. I will attempt to register. Surprise. I just robbed the Apple store of Mass Effect. <laughs> way across. It's locked down. Right, because of the, uh, lockdown. Uh, can you get through? I'll try to override.
Understood. Okay. Brooks over. No, out. B uh, Brooks out. Oh, over and out. Brooks. Oh, damn it. Having a bad day, Shepard. You could say that. Landing pad is over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. I like your outfit. <clears throat> uh, control panel, right. <laughs> I heard you fell through a fish tank. We'll talk about it later. A shame. I quite liked that restaurant. We'll talk about it later. Stand back. One moment. Hello. Could you please open the gate? So nice of them. Thank you. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. Sure did, Lieutenant. Commander, you got a plan to get out of here? James, I'm a professional. That's not a yes. Not a no. Commander. Joker, we lost our ride. Where are you? Good call. Commander, did C-Sec find you? Are you okay? Yes and no. Work in the C-Sec shuttle. What? A little busy right now. Right, sorry. We'll be there soon. Oops. 
Maybe I should have not attacked them. Just stay put. <laughs> Commander, you got a plan to get out of here? Dave, I'm a professional. That's not a yes. It's not a no. Commander! Joker, you lost a lot. Where are you? On my way. Picked up Brooks. Figured you'd have a few questions. Good call. Yeah, what the hell's going on, Commander? Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. Hell yeah, they were. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. Brooks, gunfire means something serious is going on. Can you keep it together long enough for us to figure this out? They said the Medi-Gel might make me jumpy. Also, the fact that I work a desk job and have never been shot before. How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tuchanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis- uh, my program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? <laughs> Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. That explains wanting you dead, Commander. Nothing to stop them until the damage is done. Guess we're back on the clock. <sighs> Looks that way. Those mercenaries aren't wasting any time. Okay. Ideas on where to start with these guys? Maybe. That pistol you picked up. Looks fancy, but I've never seen the type before. Nor have I. Let me see if I can dig something up. Well, you can try. But I should warn you, I haven't found anything yet, and I've been digging pretty deep. I'm sure you have. Glyph. Collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Thanks. All right, the doc is on the case. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard? Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. Glad Liara's on this. If anybody can sift through a mountain of boring stuff to find that one critical clue, it's her. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. Hey, so how about that part where I rescued you from certain death, huh? Maybe a surveillance camera caught it. Anyway, Brooks is kinda cute. Wonder if she's on the market. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. I'm glad you made it out of that ambush, okay? 
None of us saw that coming. But lesson learned. Never have dinner. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. So, what was it, Shepard, five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. <laughs> Unless the bad guy swooped in the window. <laughs> I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. <sighs> we have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan, out. So that's our identity, thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, sir. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No. But the truth is boring. Whoever that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino, a good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards... She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. <laughs> this air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. It's too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at off-end, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right. You're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. 
We've all got too much tech. But... I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? That's the plan, Brooks. Get whatever you need and be ready. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. Oh. Let's bring Ashley with. Because we're wooing Ashley. Because she's human. We're making Earth great again. Looking good, Commander. Lean and mean. Dang, girl. You know what they say about a sharp-dressed man. Oh, that reminds me. Anyone packing an Omni-Blade? Tag on the inside of this dress is gonna kill me. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? I'm here, Shepard. Edie and I will keep in contact in case we're needed. Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. I'll call you back. Potential client here. Enjoying the party? Like adrenaline in my heart. They're gonna have a fire breather on the bar later and shoot fireworks above the ward. Would fireworks even burn in a vacuum? It worked at New Year's. Whatever they did, it looked freaking nuclear. Evening, officer. Sir. Commander, I'm upstairs by the grate leading to the shaft, but there's a problem. Can you meet me? How do I leave? Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Dr. Tassoni gave me this to pass to you. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. Good. In case it needs to be said, don't try to bypass it. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omnitool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it. This place is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and... In we go. Act casual. This could take a while. Mingle. Why, hello, love. Isn't the turnout amazing? I wasn't sure anyone would show up. We pull together when we have to. I feel so bad for the humans. If you need a place to stay or anything, you just let me know.
Commander Shepard. Shahira. Shahira. It's been a long time. My idea of a long time is different than yours, Commander. What can I say? I put a lot of living into the last few years. Indeed. Do you have any advice for me this time? When? Tiger bite, bring it home. You got a lot riding on him? He's my boy. Picked him up at his shelter. Whoever let him go had no eye for racers. He can outrun anything he can't outfight, and outfight anything he can't outrun. What are the odds on? Enough to pay for my kids' tuition. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. Pushing all the damn keys. None of them are working. Nothing is freaking working. <laughs> I can't make this stupid thing let me leave. Excuse me. I think I saw someone doing drugs in the men's room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games bionically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, sir. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to go. So to sum up, tomorrow starts with the Hell Dream Foundation, then it's Blood Drive, Refugee Camp, and Hospital Tour. Hmm. Sounds like you turned pro. I try. Ms. Rios believes we have an obligation to the less fortunate. Of course. So how are you liking the party so far? There's a party? <laughs> What are you having? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Jesse and Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also Asari. They kick like a shotgun. Hi. 
Hi, Elspeth Norain. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Are you a citizen here? I've had bad experiences with politicians. Who hasn't? That's why I'm running. I got sick of leaders with ties to terra firma or Cerberus or worse. Oh? The ward needs refugee facilities. It needs security. It needs jobs. It needs everything. And hopefully, with a friend like Elijah Khan backing me, I can make it happen. Hmm. Um, Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay. Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions and take down the sensors. Okay. Follow the red wiring. I'm at a junction. There's a camera and a guard. Get his attention. Oh, I think I I ate a steak meant for the Torians. Oh, am I gonna die? Stay calm, man. We can take care of him. Brooks, try it now. Checking the pressure pad. No alarms. Looks good. Follow the red wiring. There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. I don't know what the Hang protocol in there. is here. We've but got this. When do you get off work? Suspicious activity. My floor. A guard spotted me. If you act normal, hopefully he'll move. On. I love roulette. Every minute is more exciting than the next. Should I point out? Guard spotted me. You, tough guy? Perfect. I need an opinion on something from a B-lister or below. How's this? Hi, Ashley Williams, Office of Special I'm at the storage room, Great. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silence alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm, but you must stall him before he reaches Brooks. Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What do you need? I'm sorry, are you with security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You. Enjoy your evening. You're clear, Brooks. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. So push my tour of the camp from one o'clock to three. Move the freedom hollows in five, ten minutes to each other. So these hollows aren't just hollows, right? Real Baron are racing somewhere. <clears throat> oh yeah. They set up a trap. Our pups eat. They bark. They need cleaning up. What's a pro racer eat? A special diet based on what they'd get in the wild. Minus the radioactive crap. So what? Raw Krogan like? Oh, man. My dogs would love that. Kind of illegal, though. Are there a lot of fights in Baron races? Only if something goes wrong. But I don't call my boy Tiger Bite for nothing. They throw at each other. You know, they grab and hold for dominance, but they don't actually break the skin. Sounds like quite a trick. Yeah. If I had teeth like that, I'd poke somebody's eye out. Evolution's a pretty amazing thing. Okay. Follow 
Move the yellow wiring. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarn. The game, Commander Shepard, is hearts and minds. I did. I can't get the security gate to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky. Just so you know. Have a little faith. Say when, and I'll get his attention. Go ahead. Feel my muscle. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Solid steel. I'm not sure I should feel your muscle, man. It <clears throat> looks very nice, though. You have a good night now. Hey, can someone tell a girl where she can get a drink around here? <laughs> I mean, really. Wow. Uh, ma'am? Ma'am? Suspicious activity. My floor. A guard spotted me. If you act normal... I'm debating whether I should report you to security. Oh, I like a good debate. Would you be so smug if I got you thrown? So he said he just wanted to be friends. <laughs> and I said, are you breaking up with me? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am, but have a good night now. Khan, you and me are gonna have a talk. What the hell? Can just anybody walk in here? I don't feel so special now. <laughs> Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh. So we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy to trash talk me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave. I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Bring a bigger hammer. Your last try was inadequate. Hell yeah. I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With E.D., anything's possible. The sooner we... Sure, sweetie. Hell of a party. Too bad the host died. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Because in the future, we Here's still have hoping. data drives. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. <laughs> Damn, Commander. You can't even attend a party without someone ending up dead. Now, if I can just find some chow around here. Fancy party? Check. Super sexy outfit? Check. Fights crime? Check. Well... Almost. We got close. Damn close. Hey, Shepard. Hey, Shepard. I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot them. Always talking shit about it. I hear it was quite the party, even if things didn't go exactly as planned. At least you didn't come away empty-handed. Any life or death encounters with fish aquariums this time? No. Mm. 
Too bad. Commander, instead of infiltrating the casino using a disguise, it would have been better to hold all the primitives hostage, threaten them with death, and shoot them until they gave you what you wanted. Next time, I will gladly admit. I think we've got something, Commander. Hello, Shepard. Shepard Commander. Sounds like the mission ended with a hiccup. Well, I'm just glad our team made it back. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if we're <sighs> ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's word structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost your chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. I taught this bunch everything they know. Right, ducking, running, and hitting the occasional button. Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max, what do you need that kind of firepower for? It appears this drone is preparing for death. <laughs> I have just monitored the commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel archives. Punch it up. The archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the volas? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <laughs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah. But, uh, who gets to take point with you? <coughs> <coughs> Who's going to pay the bill? <laughs> And we take James. <sighs> Man. Facility is located below the wards. Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher moths. <laughs> thresher moths. You forgot homicidal synthetics rebelling against their masters. That was a joke, right? <laughs> the archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. I take it the subtle approach is out. I like how their armor is all like second skin from Starfinder. It's all super tight. They're by like freaking saran wrap. 
Hugs every curve. Except for Shepherds, of course. But even that's pretty thin, considering how, how ripped he is. Not this again. I need a refill for my uh, mead. Skull! I love my wife, dude. She's like, she she hates my meat, right? And I made her made her try some right now because it's really super smooth. And she's like, I don't totally hate it this time. <laughs> so it's it's like high praise. Drop your weapon, so this won't end well for her. No, it's you just after, it, it's just a really good, really good batch this time. All right. <laughs> it's evil, bro, Shep. Whatever you think you're getting away with, there's nowhere you can run. 
Nowhere you can hide, where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Damn, this gig just gets weirder all the time. <laughs> Who are you? You weren't the only shepherd that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. I don't care who you claim to be. You're not me. I'm exactly you. I was made for spare parts in case you needed another lung or a heart. A clone. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. Then why are you trying to kill us? Because I don't have his memory. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Lieutenant Commander Williams. I would have picked the other one on Vermeer. Caden something? You're just a pale imitation of the real thing. Hell yeah. I'm the real she's thing. She's my booty. Perfect. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe you're the commander. They will when I'm flying his ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitting command codes now. And now he's got the command codes. Good Dumbass. idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm setting the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm looking forward to killing myself. I guess ominous threats of violence run in our DNA. But mine is more than a threat. Execute them. The cult of Shepard ends today. How many grenades do I need to fight off? There's like three grenades there. We still got everyone? We're on the balcony! I'm okay too! Where's everyone else? like the Mako. Mako is my favorite, actually. It's got jump jets, man.
Wow. Big place. What do you suppose your uh, clone is looking for in here? I don't know. At this point, I, mean, I do know. Possible. Such as discovering you have a clone. I don't want to talk about it. Right. At least not till we've all had a round of drinks. How will we find anything in this place? Glyph. Yes, Commander. Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? He looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Glyph. It's another me. Now get going. At once, Commander. There they are! The are going to Check it out. It says this gun was part of the first contact war. Year 2157. My grandfather was part of the war. Commander, the other you is searching for something 200 meters ahead. Got it. Fighting your own clone is pretty crazy, even by our standards. But useful. If there is a task you don't wish to do, Commander, let them handle it. Greenland Shark? Oh, like a personal butler? I don't want to talk about it. Right. So let your clone do it. Dagger Squad, we need more time to reach the ball. Keep Shepard off my back, we'll have your head. The other Shepard's out there. <laughs> we're on a ladder, jerks. This is Shepard. We need... That's right. You mess with Shepard, and you mess with his friend. Unless we happen to be climbing a ladder. <laughs> the other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure, and we'll try to surround him. Let's move. Sir, we captured this human in the occupation of Shangxi. A human? You're the first I've met. And you're the first bird I've met. He was armed with this weapon, sir. How primitive. Your kind expects to win a war with this. 
A bullet is a bullet. You have so much to learn. And when we conquer your Earth, I look forward to teaching you. <laughs> Conquer my nuts. Makes you wonder about all the history in this place. Probably thousands of years. I just wonder what the other me is looking for in here. Rebellions. Attack on Council, Vault K-306. This is the only visual record of Krogan Overlord Kardec's attack on the Council. Audio follows. I've heard enough. If the Krogan hadn't taken on the Rachni, you would all be at their mercy. You won't give us what we deserve, and so you force us to take it. We will never leave the planet of Lucia, no matter how much the Asari cry! Ambassador Credic, you only weaken your case with a show of violence. Wrong, Solarian. Now our case is finally strong. Negotiations are over! <laughs> Malfunction detected. Malfunction detected. Please contact maintenance. Malfunction is These are the last of the AIs on the Citadel. This termination action is unlawful. Why do you continue when our appeal has not yet been heard? Keep quiet. You know that the Council will never overturn its own edict. Standing by for your go, sir. Do not terminate us. Go. Your 1896C. of the attack, you'll see that Zakara Ward is almost completely destroyed. Interrupting. Spectre status recognized. Commander Shepard. Also, Spectre Williams. The following information is classified. The unknown aggressor is suspected to be a Reaper aided in its attack on the Citadel by rogue Spectre Seren. The Reaper Sovereign is destroyed by the Fifth Fleet. <sighs>
to possess combat Commander, I have cataloged 18 previously unknown historical events. Where's the target, Glyph? He is searching for a secret vault. He did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought he was you. <sighs> Go find him again. Stupid machine. A large contingent of soldiers calling themselves Razor Squad is just ahead. They wish to inflict bodily harm on you. Also, I discovered an Elcor mating totem in Vault 3478. Yeah, true. True. Good in Liara and or like good on Sam, uh was it uh Ashley and Miranda.
Well, I'm about to be betrayed here in a second, so... Commander, the other you wishes to pass on a message. Shepard, save yourself the trouble. Once I have what I came here for, you won't matter anymore. Now go, drone. Deliver it. Your 710 CE, Krogan Genophage. Deployment, Vault T-101. We have our orders. Release of the Genophage against the Krogan has been authorized. Not by my government. Your government invented it. What good is a weapon if you don't use it? Sergeant Tavis, restrain him. Are we sure of our orders, sir? This is genocide. Sergeant Hout, restrain them both. It's not technically genocide, because it's not killing One them day, or sir, destroying their culture. It just lowers their birth rate to what it is out there. So, it's not genocide, so to speak. It's just uh, pretty fucked up in biological warfare. people forever altered. These creatures that greet us seem harmless but unable to communicate. Preliminary observations suggest that their role seems to be that of some sort of guardian. We will begin our exploration. deliberations. Vault SH-1. Commander Shepard's recent accomplishments are not in question. It's his background that the Council has no knowledge of. Shepard was born to a career military family, growing up on various alliance postings until enlisting at the age of 18. Anything from Shepard's military record that you'd like to call out? The Alliance considers Shepard their go-to soldier that gets the job done no matter the cost. Ruthless, calculating, and brutal. Thank you for your presentation, and to all who spoke. The Council will render their decision on the suitability of Commander Shepard as Spectre within the day. Commander, do you copy? What's your status? The other you is jamming our radios. Hammerhead and Mako are trying to get ahead and cut him off. But I've been hit and need help. Please, hurry. About to be betrayed.
That can't be good. Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Has to be an override. Not seeing one. Cortez? Brooks? Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in Iridium vaults and forgotten for, well, forever. Others know about this, about you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. The minute, the second I get out of here, I'm gonna take your head and mount it in the Normandy CIC. Then I'm gonna mount his head next to yours. <laughs> then I'm gonna take both of your heads and space them out the airlock. I'll lend a hand. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda. I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? Second skin, body Setting armor. Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. Bullshit! You've make Mer make Earth great again. Than you have human. And all I've seen you do is end lives. You're gonna make a lousy me. <laughs> you know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it a shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard. Human Spectre. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, I should go. <laughs> Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. <laughs> Well, this is one for the highlight reel, huh? He said, <laughs> I should go. Do I sound like that? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, now that you mention it. Maybe we should be worrying about the impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever? I'm more confident than he is. More in control. With me, it's more like, that's all for now. <laughs> oh, damn, straight. Rank has its privileges. End the conversation however you want. Probably not a lot of air in here either. Now we're tops. I love this DLC. Or sometimes I'll talk to you later. Because you know what? I never do. Leave him wanting more. <laughs> Shepard, we're in kind of a situation here. Hmm? Oh. Glyph, you still out there? <laughs> yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my shit. <laughs> not even me. I know. I mean, they did a really good job with this DLC. They had to, because it pissed off everybody with the ending. The original ending. I like it when I bust a uh, Grunt out of uh, him getting he got arrested by C-Sec. I love the story with him and Grunt. I've got room for Shepard plus two. And figure it out fast, because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. Well, Grunt is probably my favorite character. What? I was hoping to come. As did I. It seems I rarely get picked. Joker will come back for you. I promise. <laughs> I'm 
sorry, bringing the humans for Make Earth Great Again campaign. Gotta bring the humans with us. And we did just rifle back for the uh, Matic or the Harrier. Where's the weight one? Why I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. <laughs> Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Try. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. Even if they get the Normandy, we can go to hack it and prove you're the real Shepard. No, he hacked the biometric logs, remember? The scans will back him, not us. Yes, that. Can we all just agree that it'd be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones <laughs> steal the Normandy? One way or another, we're taking this bastard down. Damn right. You go kill the crap out of you. You. Go kill okay, him dead. The systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others. ASAP. Right. They can't have gotten far. Unless they called a cab or something. I wish I had warp ammo. That'd be really cool. Do I actually have more ammo? Let's see. Incendiary ammo. And I have disruptor ammo. I like the baby armor sprint, probably the best. Thermal scope. I don't even... Wait, what? 
You were just on the Normandy. You, you fired me. Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. I can't fire you without a disciplinary hearing, trainer. And really, the first thing you grab is your toothbrush? It's a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses Mass Effect fields to break up plaque. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you... Cerberus Clone Shepard. It's, uh... Yeah, that's all I got. Oh, my cup's almost empty I can again. explain more later. For now... It's sealed. They're about to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay. You know this ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? <clears throat> There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. Manual lock. And it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? We can't hack it. We need a very precise mass effect field to get it from out here. <laughs> Toothbrush saves the day. If you told me this morning that a toothbrush was going to save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. standing right in front of you. Are we clear? It's better this way. Wouldn't you rather take him down yourself? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Armory, find him. Slow him They're down. Doing a good job. It's one of the lengthier DLCs, too. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. <laughs> it's my highest priority, Commander. It's my highest priority, Commander. Tight. Quiet. Can't risk them hearing us up top. My bad. Send this to an animal shelter for proper disposal, as a warship is not an appropriate. Oh, that is not okay. <laughs> Trying to get rid of my hamster. Those assholes are in the shuttle bay. My shuttle bay. I just know some asshole messed around with my weights. I finally had him set up right. 
Were you trying to bulk up or going for the... You know, on second thought, we can talk about this later. You've played this DLC before, eh, Alex, haven't you? Yeah, what about the fish? Unacceptable. You want to stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre wow. rank, okay. even your fingerprints. Have done love the, the Leviathan one, the one I've been doing on that. Die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are gonna fool the council or hack it? How's that big plan looking now? <laughs> Really, that's a shame because some of the Maggie DLC was actually pretty good. I remember this part being pretty difficult.
kill Brooks. No, the other way. Just a little bit for this, for this fight. If I don't use the scope, though, shots go all over the place, you know? It brings the, the scope brings the in the, the, the shot group. Get us out of the nebula and jump to FDL. We can't. A sky car keeps blocking our path. Then shoot it! Course plotting. That makes us a perfect target. No, that makes us the bait. Do you want me to drive? No. <laughs> Two pilots arguing about who should fly. Damn it. Launch the shuttle and blow that thing out of the sky. Grenades of the knee. Are you kidding me? You're nothing but one more mercenary thug. Alright, he's out of meta, Joe. Look at you. What makes you so damn special? Why you and not me? Hang on! The people you work with, that's gotcha. the difference. She's like, hell no, I ain't helping you. 
<laughs> Thanks. What about this pendejo? You. Get off my ship. What about this pendejo? <laughs> Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Might have to clean up a few holes from where we shot the shit out of the shuttle bay, though. Plus, they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but shuttle guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. What about Edie? Is she back online? I am once again fully in control of the Normandy. <laughs> Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give them some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Until you escape. Me? Escape? But I'm not a field agent. Stop. Just stop. You betrayed me and the Alliance in the middle of a war. I was young and naive. Admit it, Commander. You'll miss me. Nope. Renegade. Not at this point, Renegade ship. Uh, maintenance to the shuttle bay? <laughs> Gotta clean up an aisle six. <laughs> The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Appreciate it. So what do you want to do for short leave next time? <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. Damn right. Do any Black Friday shopping there, Alex? So, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. Party! A nap? Please. We party down. Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. All right. Good idea. Let's set it up. I've channeled the Normandy parties pretty, into your pretty account good. for the purchase of any celebratory supplies, Commander. Okay, Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. I had a student wait, let me wait, know that I'm Walmart was going to have... Uh... Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? All right, but when it's time, I invite the rest. I had a student that works Cortez at Walmart let me know James. when... Uh... Uh, so... When the PlayStation 5s would come in at Walmart by, by the school, and he let me know. I'm gonna go out and see I, was just, I wasn't going uh, to without snapping a femur. I wasn't going to risk my life at, you, at uh, Walmart you can check on Black Friday. For yeah, all of, I mean, I already did the shopping before prior to this. Unless a PlayStation to the 5 pops up, I mean, I'm not interested. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> That's why. Yes, I could take advantage of some shore leave myself. <sighs> Hi, 
Mitch mom pre call. <laughs> Krogan instant. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go save uh, Grunt. After we talk to Mom. Where's the thing where I call mom? Invite Colia. What's invite mom? Hannah Shepard here. Hi, mom. Oh, honey. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. Been shopping, Christmas shopping for I, a couple months now. I just now. felt I needed to. I think about you every day. I try not to worry. The other day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't thought about that in a while. Because of my actual life. <laughs> oh, you'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you have. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. I just want you to know. Mom outranks me. She's a captain. I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> so proud. Thanks, Mom. I have to go. I know. Be safe. Please. Goodbye, sweetheart. All right, wife needs me right back. <laughs> I think I'm done with the wine for the night. No more. <sighs> See what Kuliat wants. <sighs> we are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. There's an old human saying, whoever saves one life saves the world in time. It's not about a plan, but the value of each of us. I don't know how many times Thane saved my life or I saved his when we were beyond the Omega-4 relay. It all happened pretty fast. But I do know my whole world could have come to an end then. And it did. 
We cannot thank Thane. But for those of us who have more time in this life because of him, we can remember. Yeah, I kind of like Thane. He's a good, good guy. You do that. You could romance him as Femship. He's not truly gone. I think. Would anyone else like to speak? It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. <laughs> but after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where yeah, they he do. stood. Yeah, I went through it uh, last night. Oh, yeah, do you... Uh, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. Still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? She is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, then there. <laughs> it's all right, Commander. Counselor Ashiel could use some good press right now. This is the right time for such a favor. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. I subtly encourage them to romance. So, you have the option to break it up or not all right so we are going oh, i guess we'll check the messages really quick see what they had to say and then we're gonna go party we're gonna get the, get the party going actually no we're gonna go get a grunt first Shepard, i suppose i should thank you for my freedom Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyad. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. <laughs> but in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Yeah, good luck. Let's keep in touch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. 
The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolya to do so if <laughs> I don't. Not avoiding He's tax laws better. anymore. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Like the shape of her eyes, shrill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground, see two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot leave. Alright, let's go break, break, uh, gr uh, grunt out of jail. <laughs> Who doesn't? My usual squad's on medical. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. Right this way, Commander. <laughs> you gotta watch this. This is hilarious. This cracks me up. It's like one of the best scenes in the entire game series. The Noodle House. <laughs> so, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call. Straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. I understand you're getting out of there. Can't stand hospitals either. Yeah, full of sick people. Right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday. Tried lowering me down the side of the building <laughs> on a great. rope. Yeah, it didn't work out. <laughs> it's your birthday? Uh... No. I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? <laughs> Yeah, when c -Tech got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. Can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The c -Tech guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. <laughs> Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> Didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. <laughs> you know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. 
Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. I love you, Grunt. <laughs> Oh man, that's great. Let's go help out trainer. Yeah, I know. They, they, they get a really good job with the narrative. Space chess. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> Brilliant ending. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since... We were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Sousa. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Specialist? Commander? Kick her ass. <laughs> Roger that. Frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maiden's tactics and strategy through this game. I'd expect the great thinkers to be helping with the Asari war effort. I hope those Asari Maidens you're teaching aren't on Ilium. Last I heard, the Reapers pretty much raised that planet. Excuse me, I'm trying to play. <laughs> you're trash talking. That's another strategy that doesn't work on the Reapers. It didn't work on the Rachni either. Or the Krogan. Have the Asari ever won a war? Ouch. The Asari have a culture that was exploring space while you were using stone-tipped spears. I think you're supposed to hit the button there when your turn is done. I'm sorry, Tassuza. This might sting a bit. Apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. So where am I supposed to go now? Uh, purchase party supplies. Let's, let's yeah, actually, we'll start the party, yeah. No, that's not where I'm going to go. Welcome to Silver Coast Casino. Uh, where's the... Let me go up, I think. 
We got temporary towers. Here we go. We're happy to fulfill all. For a full list of quality products, please browse our catalog. Oh, I gotta go to a different place to buy party supplies. <laughs> yeah, for reals. Uh, guess I gotta get in from a casino? That's weird. Waiting a drink for. Oh, Chep. Here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Commander Shepard is chasing the council. <laughs> this is our chance. <laughs> oh shit, Cerberus. Ha ha ha, it's Joker. He can barely walk. How's he going to stop us? <laughs> Joker Moreau. Island of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> That's pretty much how it happened. Which is why you should comp my drinks. No. <laughs> oh, come on. I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. <laughs> Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. <laughs> you can pay me back. <laughs> no, man, Joker's awesome, dude. Just the party supplies. All right, let's go do our party. Oh, is it in the axis? Oh, it's the back. up here or anything? Mm, nope. <sighs> the shadow broker, Biara. Good luck and good evening. Hey, how are you? Later, that same ex service Vanguard picks up a backpack.
to arrange my apartment how I want it to be first. I gotta pick my furniture, you know? Alright, so the invitations. Let's invite everybody. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Where make this lit? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. May you put on a bow tie, I think. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. I want an N7 Thank hoodie. You. Happy to be here, Shepard. Hell no. Give it some time. Humans sometimes need a little more lubrication before we let loose. Not all humans. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Uh, ask me after ten more of these. <laughs> Booze and Kroger. This should get fun in a hurry. I foresee many headbutts. Ah, uh, yes. The Krogan high five. You know, on Earth, we have sheep that do the same thing. I'm kidding. Shit. You all need to lighten up. No shit. It's not like we haven't earned a little R&R. &R. Bet we have, James. Here's to us. And a chance to rest. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or purchased a time machine so I may escape all these primitives. <laughs> so, so Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. What? Who? I see you, primitive. Which of us has four eyes? Trainer, <laughs> you still have your toothbrush? No worries. I'm sure Cerberus would be happy to build us the SR-3. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to squeaking in 50,000 years later. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. He's from uh, Wakanda. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. 
Some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish she could have had some. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? <laughs> Beware. Something called the Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is quite the apartment. Seriously. You see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. Good call. <laughs> I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's, There's no, no future in a terrorist group. group. <laughs> what would you do if you controlled Cerberus? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I believe the expression is kissing babies. I know what I said. <laughs> You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. What specific time period are you referring to, Jeff? Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? <laughs> it's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. <laughs> they did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. True. However... Cerberus did successfully revive Shepard from a near-death state. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. <laughs> Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling Reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Nobody's like violated my apartment yet. <laughs> We're gonna crank this party up in a minute. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there, a button needs pushing, but Shepard always hogs that. <laughs> yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. Something to look forward to, then. <laughs> Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. He's our Spectre authorization to crank this party up. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarith. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarith and raise you a Zori. Home of toxic spores and athletes long. In my cycle, there was no pre-war. We had a despa. Even the reapers hated it. It had carnivores that would eat husks, then vomit up the metal. The reapers ended up killing the planet from orbit. 
Well, assuming it's a crash in a Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey, guys. Duck and chop? No worries. This is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. <laughs> That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Hell right, Commander? Yeah. You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. <laughs> hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. <laughs> you know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hung over. The Reapers will not care about your comfort level. Train like you need it. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Oh, great. He's playing Bouncer at the front door. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. <laughs> I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say, say no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Great work. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks. No. See. Easy. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Will do. Yes, I like my. And no, you can't go. <laughs> hey, Shepard. Thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. I've had lots to drink. And look at me. Still standing. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. I could stop bullets with my mind. <laughs> you guys, I love you guys. No, no, listen, okay? No, no, really. Okay. <laughs> Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? I really, really would not. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. <laughs> well, uh, there's a context there that uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. You have diagnostics? Cerberus programmed you to check body language. 
I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. <laughs> fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie... I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Poor girl. Nobody's in the hot tub yet. Okay, nobody's in the hot tub. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Not yet. What are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying. What I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. I mean it. Check. Me. Out. Go on. Hmm, not sure if I can tell just by looking. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. I don't cool down, big guy. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Come on, Ashley. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Ugh, goddess. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win, hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Actually, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. Okay, then. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. Off my hands off my Ashley, man. What do you think you're doing, kid? Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. Crank it up. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. It's about to get lit now. Not much story going on here. Or oh, not much, uh, uh, Jeff. combat. Yes, At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? <laughs> it's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your yeah. sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. So he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. He will not. Well, I will.
Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with him. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. <laughs> Dancers during wartime waste precious energy. Protheans only dance on the graves of their enemies. <laughs> it's in a corner with his rope pistol. <laughs> What's going on over here? Commander, I am keeping my skills honed. Yeah, I can see that. Do not worry. He's perfectly safe. Mostly perfectly safe. And yet I'm still not comfortable. <laughs> Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. Could not. Could you? I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? James, seriously? <laughs> Shepard. What's up? Just proving a point. I think James has a newfound respect for biotics. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kind of. Among other things. <laughs> I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Just wait, look. <laughs> hey, you two. What's up? Nothing. Really? No, Shepard, we're fine. <laughs> Lieutenant, did you just giggle? <laughs> I did not just giggle. I'm just... How dare you, you kill know, my I... girl? <clears throat> Shepard, uh, can we help you with anything? Ash. James, come on, this is the way. Come back after the party. You're missing the fun. Uh, sure. Okay, Shepard, only for you. Come on, Ash. I'm trying to get my gal. Cock. Grunt, you okay? What? Yeah, I got five credits. <laughs> Excellent. Go back to sleep. Bring out those moves more often, trainer. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too late. Had to do it last game. Very enthusiastic. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. I see you like Thank bros, you all dude. For your loyalty and support. Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Hasn't the honor always been so blue? <laughs> she always been so blue.
Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. A photo with primitives. <laughs> a Our photo charming. with primitives. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. Too bad Tally isn't here. She died last game. Let's see if anyone else is up. No. Kneel before Javik. I had a dream. It oh, Miranda, she's. I have to go help her sister here in a minute. It was horrible. That's the next thing. Probably do that Alone. tomorrow. Actually, Everything tomorrow we're streaming, cold. so never mind. They rule the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, the Asari. There was one. The Ara. Those eyes, voice. She was blue. Maybe tomorrow morning then. No, no, it was just a dream. Oh, I smell primitives. Oh, it was no dream. <laughs> Poor Javik. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. The apartment seems so I did romance now. Tiara, uh, Miranda, in the last game, but I had to like shut that romance down for Ashley. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if the artist starts. Yeah, I know, but I'm making Earth great again, okay? Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Liara takes forever to do her uh, hair or whatever she calls it. <laughs> yeah, I think it, what? Where's like Kasumi? She's like. In my underwear or something. She's like cataloging my underwear or something. It's been crazy like that. Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers. But I can drink it till I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hold on, that's not into me. Uh, probably. Okay, who wants eggs? They are eggs. Trainer. Esteban. Eggs. Joker. Where is that guy? Ash, come on! I promised you eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Garrus, you know my eggs. Shepard. Mm, morning. I need a floor to curl up on. Shepard? Eggs? 
Shepard. Shepard. Oh, not, not so loud. Hey. I think I broke my head on something last night. <laughs> Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Shepard. So last night I didn't do anything, did I? I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet. So maybe I just imagined that last part. A space Google. I'm almost sure someone was recording this. I could I remember a time where Kasumi was like messing with my underwear or something. Maybe that's only with a fem ship though. Yeah. If, if Ashley and James hook up, they end up in the hot tub. I remember that. not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke. I have nothing else to report. <laughs> I recommend. And that ends the Citadel DLC. Yeah, Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. Yeah, me too, man. It's good to have you. But Tali couldn't be here. Yep, I'm shooting again. All right, off. game on. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. I need to level up tomorrow morning. My last one until you finish kicking the Reaper's ass into me. Because that's the plan. to see what the hell you make us do next. <laughs> it's been a good ride. <laughs> Honestly, I prefer the Fem Shep, uh, Fem Shep, uh, you know, road. A lot better opportunities, I think. All right, so this is where I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, Adam Smashes. Tomorrow we're gonna stream, maybe in the morning. It's more Mass Effect, and definitely we're gonna be streaming tomorrow night the uh, Starfinder game. So until then, Adam Smashers, stay safe, stay healthy.